Hello guys, um, welcome again. My name is Kaska and today we have beautiful um, portrait right here. We're going to do a frequent separation, high end skin retouching with uh, frequent separation and the photograph has been done or has been uh, photographed by a photographer called by the name Well, 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 well Visual. Well Visual. His name is that, so you, ju you just uh, follow in his social media. Well, visual his name. So we're going to start the um, the tutorial right now. So um, as you can see, we have uh, row settings here. So um, before everything, I will just simply uh, change the uh, profile color from Adobe Color to Landscape. That's the uh, way, um, uh, way, way, way I begin, where I always use um, this Adobe landscape for my, um, for my um, raw image. So um, I will open the image now. I will, um, um, according to me, I don't do um, color grading from this uh, early beginning. I do from the last. So. I will just simply only change the uh, camera profile from Adobe Color to Landscape. Then I will simply open the image. So it's like that. Simply like that, we are going to uh, open our raw image. So uh, as we open the image right here, we see that um, our um, image is so much. Um, so much well so much good and um, so we're going to retouch it to make it look better than this so um to this point um i'm going to crop it from very beginning so we selected the cropping tool then make sure um if you want you to if you want to post your video on maybe instagram so this is the size for four by ten eight by ten so we are going to crop it yeah like that like that so this is our actual size of uh, of the instagram now we can proceed um, to the um, preparation of the frequent separation layers now we are going to deal with high frequency layer and low frequency layer simply we are going to drag <clears throat> our background color our background layer into two the first name the first layer the upper layer name it high frequency and the second layer name it low frequency Yeah, it's fine. So high frequency and low frequency. High frequency we're going to deal with all the textures around the um, the skin, and low frequency you're going to deal with color uh, of the entire skin of the of the of the of the of the portrait. So, all right. For the uh, for the initial state, you're going to select the high frequency layer. Then you are going to make it invisible then we select low frequency layer we first deal with low frequency layer by applying Gaussian blur so we are going to go to filter then blur then Gaussian blur simply like that all right um we're going to push the radius from the zero then we are going to adjust this uh zoom uh zoom tool then i'm going to select or to um to mark where we see a lot of textures in our face or in our skin so i'll um i usually see um or i usually um see a lot of touch a lot of textures in the forehead so at this point here you can see there's a texture there's details so we are going to deal with this place and then we're going to uh, adjust the radius slider 
to the way we see that our um, our radius of the photo I can, I can say our textures of the photo are most uh, likely appeared but not completely so we are going to adjust to the size and make sure if uh, your your size of the photo if it's larger so make sure <clears throat> it's larger let's say your photo size has um let's say um bigger than uh, 12 megabytes so your radius size should not be less than 5.8 should be larger maybe 6 so as I reach this 6.2 is where I find um, my textures um, um, likely appeared but not completely so this is the right point where we uh, select the Cashambla. Then 6.2 is fine for me. Then I hit OK. So we're going. Um, that's how we apply Cashambla on low frequency layer. Then the next step, you're going to high frequency layer. You're going to make it visible again. Now we're going to apply image. We go to image, then apply image. So this point is very important now of which um we're going to make some settings here it's very important guys pay attention um to the layer um we're going to merge um low frequency the textures of high frequency are going to make to merge it to the low frequency then we're going to change the bending option for multiply to add make sure scale is two offset is zero is zero opacity is 100 don't check these two boxes then hit inverse then hit ok to this point change the blending option from normal to linear light all right that's fine we're going to duplicate these layers first we're going to duplicate the high frequency layer as you can see the pictures become more sharper see yeah we need um, to regulate this sharpening then we are going to select to change the blending op then blending option from linear light to normal so um you're going to create a clipping mask by clicking right click and we're going to um create clipping mask so now we're going to duplicate the low frequency layer all right so we are going to deal with the copies 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 we don't do a frequency separation of them of the primary layers we duplicate in case of anything in case of errors we simply uh, delete the layers then we duplicate again we proceed instead of um starting over and over creating um again the gashan blah the apply image and all of the all of that settings so it kind of wastes time so we're going to list uh, i can say we're going to group this all layers into one group hold alt then select all the layers instead the background layer of which is logged then you're going to drag to the group layers then name it frequency um separation so at this point now we have made the frequency separation layer so um i usually save my out um in every process i do i i, I usually save i save my workflows um um into psd in case of anything maybe power shortage happen maybe a pc run out of battery so i i'll simply um continue where i stopped it so i save my photo through psd all right our work is saved now we can proceed on the uh, on the i can say um on the frequency separation now but before we proceed 
we need to fix colors as you can see here on our portrait they are mixed color they're black here there's white here there's a yeah we want to make it <coughs> the skin color looks uniform by doing this we need to duplicate a blank layer between low frequency layer and high frequency layer so um, we're going to select low frequency layer then in between here is where we need our blank layer to appear then we're going to name this layer um, color matching okay all right so in color matching we're going to use normal brush then to this point um, we are going to select um, skin surface where is much uh, not much uh, lighter and not much darker it's just moderate place all right for example we don't need this dark place of the skin also we don't need this slight skin we just only need somewhere here of which slight maybe here simply hold alt to select this dropper of which you're going to um, pick color of the sample hold alt and then it appear this uh, sign of the um, color picker so we are going to pick where we want I think here is fine of which is not much lighter and not much darker then um, pick your brush normal brush set the opacity into 10 then sorry it's I need 10 then we're going to change the blending option from normal to color Oh, sorry all right so now we're going to apply our brush freely very freely so we're going to fix all the errors or where there is um, in matching of, of 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 color of the skin so as we get uniform results So you do um, in all over the skin, but not in the eyes or on the lips, because as you can see, the lips has uh, the lips has its own color there. So we don't want to make it interfere interference of the skin and the lips. Just um, apply only to the skin, not in the eyes. Also in this in the shoulder here. Well, you see this. Um, you apply all over the skin, so to so as to make it visible. So I think it's fine. That's very fine for me. All right, let's see before and after. Yeah, that's uniform um, application of color matching. I've made it very simple and i hope you understood all right now we are going to um now frequency separation doing C frequency separation so we're going to apply the color matching again no we're going to apply the um blank clear we're going to select then we're going to name it um smoothing now we're going to smooth apply smoothing of the skin pick your brush mix a brush i can say then make sure the settings are as follows.
make sure it's clean it's clean 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 brush make sure the second brush is thick don't take the first blush make sure weight is five load is 25 mix 50 floor 50 and you take this sample or layers so at this point now we're going to select the high frequency layer then you make it invisible like that then select your smooth layer then we go we go we go we go uh, directly into frequency separation now so we're starting by um, blending the highlights alone and um, what is this now uh, highlights and shadows alone separately I can say here you apply you apply you apply you apply highlights alone and um, shadows alone so let's begin now uh, we are starting from the from the forehead This is how we do frequency separation. We do separately from highlights and shadows. Don't mix because uh, the colors will be shifted from um, one point to another where we don't do that. Highlights alone. And shadows alone. And also don't do it so fast. Just be slowly, do it slowly. So simple guys. It's so simple. So much simple. And I want you all of you guys to be capable to do um frequency separation also don't forget to subscribe guys it's very important if you have any question also like write down there in the comments yeah okay from the nose here we apply it separately now highlights alone shadows alone All right. This is how we do frequency separation. Don't mix highlights and shadows, and also don't overdo. Just make it. Um, simple and clear don't overdo <laughs> highlights alone and shadows alone So, We need to be so much um, careful on when blending highlights and shadows. 
it's very important very very important and um frequent separation also you need to master the mixer brush that's the rules of um blending that you need to uh blend shadows and highlights alone that's the rules of um mixer brush so if you do uh, for the rule that rule will be um master in um in the mixer brush so i think we are done and let's do it for um just to make sure everything is correct what we need to do for the last time this we are going to not overdo it yes yeah just to we just um we're just making everything everything sure with the mixer brush and frequent separation so that's why um i'm doing right now okay also in the um in the lips we're going to do the blending also applies the same rule that you apply in the dark and in the highlights along everywhere it only applied the same rule um, the mixer brush and your out 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 outlook will be amazing and seamless and you are um, you'll be um, best So I think it's fine now. It's fine. It's fine. Also in uh, hair, it's like this. It's very important. All right. All right. Let's see our um now our our um the results. We're going to enable. Wow. See? I I'm, I'm I'm glad you see the effect. Let's see before and after. You see now? That's the magic of um high end skin touching. So let's um fix a little bit here in the um in the so in the shoulder. I can say shoulder, yeah, in this right left arm. All right, I think that's fine. See before, after. Yeah, that's how we do. That's how we do frequent separation. Remain here and check. We just do before and after to see where you haven't checked. Um, you do checking. All right, from wherever you see there is no changes or you didn't go through uh, you didn't uh, apply the blending you do it uh, in order to do um, or to resolve that place so you do before and after to see changes if there is no you, you didn't see changes you just simply go through again there's no rush in frequent separation if you need um, good results so Let's see before and after. Yeah, that's amazing. That's very amazing. Now we're going to remove some blemishes. You zoom um, a little more in. Then you are going to pick the clone stamp tool or simply place uh, S on your keyboard. Then we're going to select the high frequency uh, layer of the copy. As I, as I told you before, that high frequency layer we're going to uh, deal with uh, textures. So, to fix, as you can see here, there's blemish, there's blemish, there's blemish. To fix, you simply select Alt to um, to sample the surface where you need 
you select the sample of the perfect where there is no blemish at that surface then you select into the place of of the of the blemish make sure the size of the uh, constant tool is bigger than the blemish as you can see the blemish disappears and the wrinkles of the skin i simply selected the the skin surface where there's no wrinkles then I'm, i go i resolve my skin like that i select i resolve i select the surface i resolve i select also i resolve i select i resolve i select the skin i resolve like that simply like that that's how we remove blemish You do don't remove all you see there's some I, I, I didn't say it's a, it's a blemish this small small thing there's their textures don't remove all of them because uh, they also have um, some uh, good look of our they 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 they, uh, they show um, they show i can say they show um some they have some um they beautify the photo and make our photo looks our skin look realistic that's why we don't remove all the textures as you can see here yeah that's we need to resolve something like that something like we cause and some hairs in the skins we remove by constant tool all those are textures uh, details and textures that we need to resolve it with high frequency layer also in this also this this wrinkles here all right that's how we apply um, the resolve using constant tool. So you do that entire skin. You see, that's how we apply uh, the um, the blemish removal of the skin. all right now i'm done let's see before and after that's here is where we started here we ended frequent separation all right now um i think we go to another step of um dojin ban dojin ban process now i'll save that's my <laughs> that's my culture of saving after every um process if you see me we are okay thank you <laughs> so um because anything can happen we adobe can crash or oh, uh, power shortage and whatever because um 
we don't trust this equipment like electronics anything can happen anything can happen that's why we i usually save i save in form of psd yeah then i proceed simply like that okay let me go to another step of uh, dojin bar simply on your keyboard from window users press ctrl shift alt a and to the mac users press command shift alt a to merge the layers all right in dojin ban we um we deal with curves curves um there's there, there, there's a, there's a lot of um, um of processes or but mine i prefer using um curves where i find in this adjustment layer then i select curve i prefer most i prefer most and also i prefer for you guys to use this curve because it's simple also um you duplicate two curves one for dodge another one for ban simply you're going to duplicate another curve this is a uh, limit um i know limit a limit dodge whatever either you name this or name this but make sure you name them um respectively dodge and ban and i'll group them together i'll hold and group then i'm going to name it dodge and ban i'll expand the group in dodge we are going to um base or uh, we're going to base on the um shadows of the skin shadow the skin surface wherever there is dodge uh, sorry in wherever there is burn we're going to apply um well, wherever there is dark of the skin or shadows you're going to apply burn and wherever there is dodge you're going uh, we're going to apply in the skin surface where there is highlights and all highlights skin surface are going to apply dodge so simply um dodge uh, we change the blending option from normal to screen so here we select dodge and then select the blending option from normal to screen as you can see it's been a lot of highlights so that's meaning of dodge meaning meaning that we are going to apply it into highlights surfaces then you're going to change the blending option nani we're going to uh, invert by uh, placing the the layer mask here then you are going to select invert we go to burn again as we as i told you that in burn we're going to fix uh, shadow places or shadow surface of the skin so we're going to change the blending option from normal to multiply you see there is dark <laughs> then you're going to invert simply select also the layer mask then invert so that is dodge and ban uh dodge and ban layers all right in dodge and ban we also need uh, to have to duplicate this dodge and ban why duplicating we need to uh to have global dodge and ban and also we need to have a uh, local dodge and ban in global dodge and ban we are going to deal with the entire um applying of the shadows and highlights together also in local dodge and ban we are going to apply oh we are going to resolve where uh, light strike um <clears throat> light strike maybe lights or highlights strike the the shadows and the shadows track the highlights we're going to resolve in local dodge and ban on global dodge on global dodge and ban we're going to apply the entire uh, highlights and shadows um respectively so we're going to start with local dodge and ban then we're going after after the local dodge and ban we're going to the global dodge and ban so we need to have a black and white color 
of which we are going to uh, see the highlights and shadow together so simply um on the outside the global dojen band and local dojen band we're going to select uh, adjustment layer then so select solid color of which we are going to drag in somewhere here where we need uh, some gray not completely gray but it's black then we're going to change the value of 44 or wherever you save the value there then we're going to change it to 50 so that is the black and white color that we need then we are going to hit okay then we're going to change the building option from normal to color so that is black and white color we need for um <clears throat> for uh seeing where there's highlights where there's shadows that's the perfect color we need so we're going to start with local dojin band we're going to expand the local dojin band group then we're going to start as follow you 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 you, you start dodge or ban there's no um there is no limitation there you start either dodge or you will go for ban is uh you it's your choice yeah so i start with dodge select the normal brush here then make sure opacity is very low around two here then zoom in a little bit as i told you local dojin ban we're going to fix in places where lights strike uh, the um, the highlights and highlights strike the shadows we're going to fix with local dojin ban as we start here with dodge so we're going to see where um ban or i can say where we we see where shadows strikes the highlights here we're going to resolve with yeah like that as you can see here we're going to resolve like that in case you have any question please write down there so as i will answer you directly So we see the shadows that uh, strike the highlights yeah like that also um this place here all right all right all right i think there's enough for dodge let me see ban now where we see there is there is a light and it's supposed to be there we're going to solve with this we're going to enhance um shadows All right, I think local dojen ban is fine. Now let's go dojen ban. Just simply close the group. Then I start with dodge. This video is going to be short. I see you're going to uh, to 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 fast and fast and smart. So reduce opacity from two to one. We use one opacity value then we start with dodge as i told you in dodge global dodge and ban we're going to apply the entire skin now so in dodge we're going to apply the dodge effect or uh, we're going to apply in highlights it's very simple guys it's very simple of course separation is so simple no <laughs> dodge and ban I can say high-end skin retouching is so simple because frequent separation we already did it, already done it. So we are in another step of dodge and burn, guys. So just simple like that. You are applying highlights. Very simple like that. 
so we go to another step now and then i need to the shoulders here it's very simple like that guys All you need, you need to practice. To become perfect, you need to practice, guys. All right, that's for dodge. Let's go for ban now. In all uh, dark places, you're going to um, apply ban in all shadows i can say the tutorial is so easy it's going to help you it's going to help you so much like that like that In all <clears throat> shadows, we're going to apply ban, 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 guys, ban, 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 guys, ban, ban, guys. We apply ban. Don't forget that ban in shadows, dodge in highlights. So like that, I'm done also in lips also hey wait here as you can see it's stuck also here to make it dark also in the lips as you can see we need some effects here pan Here we don't put ban because there is highlights. We put dodge. I'm glad, or oh, um, it's my hope you understand me so much. So we are going to, in this close, close place, we're going to apply dodge. Also in this small part of this. So like that. Let's see our result now. Also in our, in our, in our hairs. Need to apply some darkening. All right. So it's my car now. I don't need that. I did it. So the storage and bang. <laughs> so amazing so amazing so let's see before and after you see that's the result wait let me group them first of all doge global group global doge and band and local doge and band together then i let me to doge and ban let's see before and after Wow, that's nice. That's very nice. So, at this time we are through with Doge and Bang. Um, next step we are going to um character the thing, character this portrait, character the the all the workflows, and make the color enhancement going to calculate uh, our portrait now so the next step you're going to match this layers by pressing ctrl shift alt e on windows and uh, mark you press command shift alt e then um you, you convert into um, this layer into smart object by clicking right click then convert to smart object okay now you go to filter then camera field.
all right so to this point now you need to understand a little things here all right we're going to add whatever you need in your photo all right i will show you right here all right um first of all um i need to uh, do some temperature around to is fine mind you also point to remember that don't just uh, follow um the exact amount i put it depends on your requirement of the photo so if you your photo is too um is too uh is too high it's too hot i can say so you reduce temperature if it's too cold you um, add temperature so what i give you is concept of on how to color grade on how uh, you do um, some adjustment only concept understand the concept co the concept because if you do the the exact amount i put uh, you won't get the results because um my because my requirements of my photo won't be the same as yours i think you understand me just get the concept of color grading and uh, apply it uh, accordingly to your uh, your portrait requirements so yeah that's what i want the exposure is fine i don't want to add more exposure for my photo the contrast also i don't want to contrast a lot i'll just simply do some highlights yeah around uh, eight is fine and uh, the shadows mm, do i need shadows yes i'll add shadows all right um whites i don't need whites i need some blacks so i'll do also blacks let me increase a little blacks yeah that's fine five is fine for me all right textures i don't need textures i don't really need uh to the hairs around seven is fine i'll add some vibrance four is fine for me and i reduce saturation three is fine so at this point i'll go to uh, hcl adjustment then i'll deal with reds i'll add some reds in my photo i'll add also orange around nine is fine for my requirements okay do i need yellows no greens there's no plantation here so i don't need that i'll add some blues around 15 is fine and magenta around 10 is fine don't overdo then come to speed toning at the saturation of two that's very important then come to color calibration add the blue primary saturation here and footing is fine then you can save the uh, settings here by come to this option then save the settings you save wherever name you want maybe I save it casca uh, casca then if you want to load it come simply here into the preset then you look where you uh, save your settings then just simply click and everything will go simply like that if you uh, maybe you undergo some um, shortage of electricity or the adobe crash or something so you simply come here and click the settings you've set then you simply commit changes by click OK. So this is how we calculated it, it um, uh, photo less before and after.
see there's a little big uh, change um, into the um, into the skin so at this point now we're going to um let's add uh, let's add some shine of our skin of which you are going to duplicate first of all we can't just uh, we can't just um, uh, proceed right here in the smart object we're going to duplicate I can say we're going to merge the layer by pressing ctrl shift alt e or command shift alt e for Mac users then we're going to now uh, deal with um, um, we're going to add shine of the skin so by adding shine we're going to deal with um we're going to select the adjustment layer then we're going to select the solid color of which we push our slider up where we need white color then we hit okay um we're going to group it then we're going to name it um skin glow okay we're going to duplicate as many as we want and we're going to make it invisible and we leave only one layer here so uh, we select the first layer where we need to make um some um the skin glow so we're going to right click and click blending option so um, we're going to uh, adjust uh, the the we're going to adjust the underlying layer here of which we're going to push it from this dark place to the light place as you can see this now are the skin glowing Of which we are going to apply yeah here first we're going to start here from the forehead to the nose so as we need this part as we reach the in, in this in this position is where we need um, this the this um, this uh glowing of the skin so we are going to hold alt to separate the slider yeah as you can see here there is um glowing then we hit okay this separated slider you push from the from the um from the end then hit okay all right select the layer mask then invert. Pick your brush, normal brush. Make sure opacity is 100. Then solve by doing um, simply um, select it like that. That's that's a perfect way we do um, skin glow. But that's too much we're going to reduce opacity so as we make it a little bit seamless all right 67 is fine then we go to another let's see before and after yeah it's also a little bit harsh reduce some um, into 50 50 is fine yeah <laughs> Don't make it too much. It's become boring. Just adjust a little bit. So we go into the next step again. We select the right click and click blending option. Then I go to drag again the slider. Now we're going to apply here. Then hold Alt, push the slider the way to the end, then hit OK. Okay, select the layer mask, 
and invert pick your brush opacity is 100 as i told you then add shine Then we use the opacity again around the fifty three. All right. Then right click, we go just go until you finish. Now we go here. Hold Alt. All right, go again to another stage, to another, I can say, into another solid color. Now we add into the chin. Hold Alt. All right. All right, all right, all right. Now we go over here into the into the shoulder. I can see. Blending option again. Yeah, I like that. Hold Alt. Yeah, uh, hit OK. So that's how we add shine to our skin. Okay, it's too harsh. Close opacity to 42. Yeah, it's too, so it's too big. All right, I think that's fine. That's very fine for me. Now the rest, I'll delete them because they have no use again. I have no use with them so let's see before and after of the skin glow yeah that's how we add shine so i'm going to um merge these layers by ctrl shift alt e all right so to this point i'm going to um clean eyes however our eyes are so our eyes and teeth are so white but we are going to clean them by my preset here i can say my action okay i'll provide for you uh, in my video um then you download, you download it for free so i'll simply apply like that i'm going to clean my My eyes and did like that. So it's like that, simple like that. I've cleaned my um my eyes and teeth. See before, after, with my um action here. So in the link uh in this video below there, there is the link where you can download it for free. So don't miss it. Now for the last thing, we're going to match. Then we are going to. Um, I'm going to sharpen this photo and become more, yeah, sharp. I'm going to select the layer, the, the layer. then I'll convert it into, into a smart object. That's the last part. Then I'm going to filter, then 
I'll go to sharpen. Then I'll select a sharp mask. So you'll see the value where you need to sharpen. As you can see, this is my this is our photo. Okay. All right. Thirty four is very fine. Yeah, has become more sharp. Then I'll click OK. So, guys, um, that's the last part of sharpening. Um. I think we've done each and everything here. We have seen the frequency separation. We have seen the torsion band. We have seen the skin grow. We have seen how to sharpen also. So let's see our entire before and after where we started, where we started from the scratch. Let's see before. This is where we ended. <laughs> So this this is where we start, not we add <laughs> because we start here. And let's see the after. So this is our after. You see before, after, before, after. So guys, right now I think I will show you how to save the perfect way to save. In order, uh, your photo won't change the color because if you save normal like this save as then you go save as jpeg then you save my friend your color won't be the same it will change and you will you will be amazed <laughs> so if you want your perfect workflow to appear the same just follow this step to save just come to file then export then save for it that's the perfect way you can save and your photo will not uh, change in color let's see let's see our photo as we wait it um, to load so guys um i believe you uh, get to understand how we do frequency um, high end skin touching with the frequency separation using dodge and burn like that. So let's wait um, to save. Uh, let's wait so as we can save our workflow now. Then we simply enjoy the process of the high-end skin retouching. All right, guys, the photo has been loaded successful. So it's like that. All right. From this point, you're going to select a form of um, form of uh, photo to be. It's JPEG. I prefer my quality to be 100. I don't know uh, your preference now. You will select your preference here where you need uh, quality of the photo to be to be after you save. I, I I suggest to put 100 yeah okay the preview color should be monitor, monitor color also I don't need my data to be appear that's why I leave none then the quality I want my uh, 
image to look sharper then i select the bicubic shadow then i simply save then i select uh, where i want to save my uh, the location where i want to save my photo then you will name it wherever you want so i save so after you've done saving the output you uh, you save will be the same as um, you expected or you you have worked for it so the color the texture won't change uh, yeah remain the way it is as you expected or you have worked for it so at that point um, I think we, we we understood each other please guys don't forget to subscribe and <clears throat> that's um, you'll be uh, notified uh, in uh, in every moment I post new video so just simply um, uh, simply subscribe to my new channel if uh, I can say to subscribe to my channel not new it's not new it's um, okay all right let me not speak too much guys if there is any question just simply write down in the comment and everything I will answer there and I believe um, you'll have a great experience on how you you, you, you you will be able to do frequent separation you will be able to do dojen ban at the end of this video so um, I believe um, you'll be better in high end skin retouching so that's how we do and have a nice moment god bless you all so before you go let's see before and after i love to compare uh, the before and after this is before this after all right guys have a nice moment god bless you again don't forget to smile <laughs> bye